Hey, in this video, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about what uh, what I've been doing at work lately. Um, I mean, a lot. <laughs> we we this is the busiest um, I've ever been. It's the busiest our department has ever been um, since I've worked there in the last eight years, eight plus years. So um, one of the big things I want to talk about was Office 365. So we've been on Office 2010 since I don't know, probably probably six years now. Um, we've been on Office 2010 Enterprise or hospital wide and uh, we just were able to get an uh, E3 um, license as well as EMS and some other stuff and it's my responsibility to roll that out. It's a big big project. Um, the deployment's easy, we got the deployment set up. Um, we were able to deploy it no problem but just figuring out licenses and actually migrating users is uh, it's a pretty big job. So a lot of PowerShells involved. In fact it's all PowerShell. And if you're wondering what this thing is on my eye, it's a sty, and it's like bugging the shit out of me. So yeah, back to Office 365. Um, it's rolling out pretty nice. It's slow process because there's a lot involved. We're also doing OneDrive. We're doing uh, Teams. We're doing um, other stuff. <laughs> I can't even think of it at the moment. But um, we got all this stuff rolling out, and our techs are doing a, a really kick-ass job getting to the client. So what I'm doing is behind the scenes PowerShell scripting. I'm gathering up the users, figuring out which ones we're going to do next, which group. Um, doing the behind the scenes PowerShell stuff. Basically migrate, syncing their mailboxes to the cloud, migrating them, and then the techs go out and actually do the um, uninstall of Office 2010 and that's just a deployment thing, as well as deploying the um, Office 365. So it's been a pretty big challenge, but it's going, I think it's going pretty good. Um, we, we at our hospital don't want to do things uh, where we have to go back and try to fix stuff. So uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the work has been done up front. So I think we're kind of, kind of climbing and we're almost going down that slope now. So there's still probably, I don't know, a thousand users to go. <laughs> so not all of them have Office. A lot of them are just OWA users. If you guys want to hear more on that, let me know in the comments below uh, on the whole Office 365 migration process. And I know there's some PowerShell stuff in there, and I will be sharing all that with you. Um, it's uh, it's it's a little intense, and but but once you get the the whole process down, it's not too bad. Anyways, all right, I just want to share that with you guys.